America's pastime. Let me show you how he hooked up this scoreboard from my hometown Little League. This was my favorite sport throughout my whole childhood, so this one tugs at the heartstrings a little bit. Are you ready? Yeah. The part of all this you didn't see was the trenching. We had to cross the road, it wasn't a big deal. Actually, the worst part of this was going under the sidewalk. A lot of times it's easier to figure out a way to go under the sidewalk rather than cut it out, then have to re-pour the concrete, have to deal with all the debris. So overall, it was a lot quicker to go under that sidewalk than it would have been for the alternative. So it worked out great. All right, so this is the cool part. We just tie a little baggie onto a string. This is how we get our wire in the conduit. And then my apprentice over there, Lucas, goes to the other side, puts his mouth on the pipe, and sucks really hard, and it comes right out. Right, Lucas? Yep. <laughs> All right, so he's using a vacuum over on that end of the conduit. We've got about 130 feet of conduit here, so you're gonna see us just suck that string right through there. Now that the string made it, the next step is to tie the wire on. Then comes the hard labor. This is why the young guys are over there pulling. Should have pulled the mule tape in there, boys. All right, so there's too much tension on that string, so it broke while we were pulling it in. So we're gonna pull another string in, and then we're gonna use this mule tape that has a lot more tensile strength to it that'll allow us to pull that wire in without any issues. It'll also pull in a lot easier too, so. Should have done that in the first place. But you try to take shortcuts and pay the price. That's where we're at. One of my dad's favorite lines when I was growing up was, the only person that never makes a mistake is a person that does nothing. I looked at him once and I said, then I must do a lot. Now that the wire is pulled in and that only added about one hour, remember if it takes 30 minutes and you lost 30 minutes of production, that's an hour of added time. We installed the J-Box up high for a couple reasons. One is we don't want any non-professionals messing with this. The other is we didn't want a long loop of our liquid tight from the box to the scoreboard. Of course I brought the wrong size liquid tight, so I had to open up the scoreboard and swap the initial connector with the correct one that I brought. All right, you saw us drill a weave hole in this box. Uh, a lot of people say, well, you don't have to on weatherproof boxes. We always drill a weave hole in everything because water gets in there. Whether the connector has a way in, the conduit has a way in, moisture gets in these boxes. So one rule that we always have is drill a weave hole in everything, no matter what it is. The last problem I faced is my dog. Well, nine month old dog. Somehow he got inside the ball field and of course had no clue how to get out. He did leave a nice treat in the visitor's dugout, so that's a home field advantage if I've ever seen one. I was happy to donate my services for such an awesome cause and one that means a lot to me personally. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, be an electrician. Leave your mess.